Okay, so to make your Jal Martins edit, you're going to need at least two of your own photographs. So these could be photographs from your garden, or they could be photographs on your walk, or they could be photographs that you've already got. So you're going to add one, and then straight away you're going to click on the plus, and you're going to add your second one as a separate layer. So two separate images. So you can see now you've got the two photographs in there. Once you've got the second layer, if you click on the little eraser in the bottom right hand corner and you click on the cutout option, okay, you're going to look for the triangle because that is the shape that he uses in all his images. And if you move that triangle around on your screen, you can see a triangle section of the other image underneath. Okay, What we're going to do is we're going to start to build up a pattern of triangles like he does in his edits okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the top corner to build up my pattern okay so I'm going to start in that corner once I've got one triangle in place I'm going to click on the little plus down by the eraser and that's just going to give me a second triangle and I'm going to line those up going across my page so I'm trying to keep them as straight and as uniform as I can Okay, once I've done that line, plus again, so it's the same process, repeated, but this time I'm lining it up in between the two points of the triangles above. And it's the same thing right down the image. I just missed out that little section there, don't really need it, I'm not going to bother. Okay, so depending on what size you make your triangle, it'll depend how many times you need to repeat this process okay something that you would want to do during this as well is make sure you do a screenshot and you screenshot throughout this process because obviously that's going to show how you've created your image and that's what we would normally do on Photoshop so just now I'm going to take a screenshot so I can explain that once I've got all those triangles in place I'm just going to click on the rubber and it's going to take me back to my home screen. Okay, so once I'm here, I'm going to think about adding some coloured triangles as well. So I'm going to click on the plus, and I'm going to click on element. And it'll automatically bring up a square. So if I click on element at the bottom, I can find the triangle and change it to that shape. Okay, this, is, this bit is slightly tricky, because what I need to do is get my triangle so it's the same size as the triangle that I've just been using. So this bit takes a little bit of sort of faffing around and it's a little bit fiddly. But if you can get it sort of as close to that as possible, that's just going to look much better when you come to change them. So something maybe slightly bigger. So you're just using your fingers to just sort of pinch it. Okay, once I've got that, I want a colour that works with my image, so if I click on the colour at the bottom, I can use obviously any of these colours, but they're maybe just a little bit too bright for my image, so I can click on the eyedropper and I can select a colour that is present in the photographs on there. So if it deselects like mine just did, just click back on it and it'll reselect. So click on colour, eyedropper sometimes it'll pick darker than you kind of want so that's what it's selected within there so i'm going to go with that one so that shape i'm going to keep that color then what i can do because i want to keep that triangle exactly the same if i click on the triangle in the top corner and click duplicate it's going to give me aha you don't want this to happen because we don't need to upgrade to pro so if you just click close then what you can do is you can merge some of your layers so we're going to merge the layer we were working on before, so make sure that's selected the second one down and you're going to drag that onto the background layer. This little box is going to pop up and you're going to click merge, so it joins those two together and it leaves your triangle separate. Okay. So once you've got that, you can click on your triangle, your colour triangle, and you can click on duplicate and it'll give you a second one that's exactly the same size then you can move that second triangle to wherever you want to work. So if you wanted to work on this little one down here, and obviously we want that to be sort of a greeny colour, so I can click on colour again, and I can eyedropper, and I can get a green that is similar, 
it's not horrible colour to what I'm sort of working with down there so that green works quite well okay I can see I need to just move that triangle slightly so I'm just playing around with it so maybe just up a little bit um, and then what I would need to do now is I would need to merge because I can only ever have three layers so this time because I know that blue triangles in the right place I'm just going to drag that and I'm going to merge that with the other okay and then again I can just click on that one and I can duplicate it okay what I'm going to do this time which is going to be slightly annoying but I'm going to try and rotate my triangle so I can fill in some colours in the opposite direction okay so again you're going to have to spend a little bit of time unless you've rotated it perfectly which I haven't just getting it lined up and right okay so this is the sort of fiddliest part of the whole edit getting it lined up right but it's worth spending the time just faffing around with it because then your edit will look much slicker when it's totally done Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that, maybe just slightly bigger. And then again, it's selecting the colour. So the white's too bright for my work. doesn't go with my photograph, so I'm going to change that white. And I'm going to select something that goes, so maybe that doesn't go. It's a bit hit and miss when you do it with the eyedropper, but it's worth playing around with just to see if it will pick up a colour that kind of works for you. And I'm actually, now I'm looking at this, I'm going to actually change where I'm putting this triangle. So I'm going to click on it, click on the colour. Oops, not working. Click on the colour, eyedropper, click on that blue, and then I'm going to actually move that triangle up into that space. I think that looks much better. It's less obvious. Okay, then this time I'm happy with that, and I want to stick with the triangle facing that direction so I'm going to click on the green triangle and I'm going to merge that with my original image okay I'm going to go back on this one and I'm going to duplicate so again it's giving me a triangle that is the right way round to edit this direction okay I don't really want to use one of the edge ones so I'm maybe going to go here and again click on my colour and you can do as many of these as you want or as little as you want I'm preferring it with just the photographs if I'm honest so I'm not going to do much more I'm just going to do a little bit more um, and then might have that one over here actually okay um, and then again just merge however you want it to be and then you would just carry on that process. So I'm just going to stop this video now. So it would just upload when you're happy. So just click on the little arrow in the top corner. And export that. And that's just going to go to your camera roll. And that's you ready to add that to your slides presentation.